Brawl in Cell Block 99 is from the director of Bone Tomahawk and stars Vince Vaughn as an ex-boxer who finds himself doing a stretch in jail. There he finds himself in a brutal fight for survival in which he must make it up into the ranks of the most feared prisoners to find someone to keep his wife and unborn child from danger. If you have a love of 1970s action movies, commonly referred to as the Grindhouse era, then you are going to really enjoy this movie. It is brutal, it's violent, it is badass, and Vince Vaughn gives the performance of his career. He's been really great in a lot of comedies, Swingers, Wedding Crashers, Dodgeball. I really liked him in a lot of serious films as well, most recently Hacksaw Ridge. I thought he was really good in The Lost World as well, which was a more comical role, but he had a lot of serious work in that movie too. This just might be his signature role that people remember for years. Having seen this film, I cannot imagine anyone else playing this stone-cold man who's very good at hiding his emotions. But in moments of quiet, in moments of solitude, when we find him alone in this cell, you begin to see just how damaged and tortured he is. He's a real man's man, though, so he hides all of this, of course, and we only get to see his anger and his rage burst in the middle of incredible fight sequences. This movie takes a page out of the John Wick book and we get a lot of wides, very long takes of action sequences. But unlike John Wick, which has very brutal combinations and a lot more choreographed fights, this is a film that is just about a huge guy, six foot five, using his fists to pummel his way out of things. People break things across his face. People go at him with all different types of objects, and it feels almost like he's not faced, like he's some kind of Frankenstein monster. It's so damn entertaining, and I loved every minute of this movie. It's a little overlong, because it does draw out a lot of sequences. It surprisingly has quite a bit of setup for character. It takes a lot of time before we actually get to the prison sequences, that I thought the entire film was going to be about because I didn't watch any trailers. I didn't know what the movie was about. I just knew the title of the film. And so that made me think there's probably going to be a big fight scene in a prison. There's a lot of stuff that happens before that to set up his character, to set up his family life, to show his reluctance at turning towards crime. But also it helps you understand why he does because of his love for his family and he has no other options. This film surprisingly takes quite a bit of time to meditate on this character, to show him in quiet moments, to have a lot of long takes in which he is simply eating in his cell, and you begin to feel like you are rotting away in that cell with him. This movie makes you feel as if you are being put in prison. It shows every little detail about how he gets there, including the line to give his belongings away, when they have to check his body, his introduction to his cell, and what prison life is actually like. You feel like you're there. This isn't just a movie about some action sequences inside a prison. It's a surprisingly effective character drama that has some brutally entertaining badass fistfights. My only real issue with this movie is one of pacing. It might be just a little too long because it does take a lot of time to set up this character. And while it gives you more of a reason to care about him, I was surprised at its length. And it might be a little too long. There were a few things they perhaps could have cut out. Also, there is a very obvious prosthetic shot of something that is very much so not a human being. And part of me wonders if it was on purpose. Because a lot of films of the 1970s action era, and horror of course, had a lot of very noticeably fake mannequins and body parts. And I feel like in today's high definition era, this choice had to have been obvious. It had to have been something he did on purpose. But if it wasn't, it was a pretty obvious mannequin and it could have been better. But beyond that, this film is dreadfully entertaining, extremely bloody and violent, and Vince Vaughn gives the performance of his career. I had a blast with it. I did watch it on Amazon Video. It's available now, and I highly suggest checking it out. I'm going to give Brawl and Cell Block 99 an A-. Also, just as a reminder, I mentioned this in my Geostorm review, the premiere of the short film that we worked on this year, Auditorium 6, is going to be this week, Wednesday, October 25th, at Atlas Eastgate Cinema in Cleveland, Ohio. The link to buy tickets is below in the description. They're not going to be sold at the theater, just at this link. It's six bucks, and that six bucks will get you a showing of the movie. It's 35 minutes long, as well as a Q&A afterwards with myself. 
The cast will be there. Of course, the crew will be there. I also have posters that the cast and I will be signing to give away, and I really hope to see you guys there. Again, that link is in the description below, and uh, I really want to share this movie with you as much as I can. And of course, for those who are asking, I will have it available in the future after a film festival run. We'll try to make a Blu-ray or something that we can distribute for people who can't come to a premiere or to any festivals or who are outside of the U.S. We'll try to make sure as many people can see it as possible because I really am excited to share it with you guys. We're very proud of it. Thank you so much as always for watching. And as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.